when I walked in here the first day, and I'll never forget this because I came in the door, some kid held the door for me. I was like, what? I seriously, I thought this, this is a really nice school. How come the kid's holding the door for me? I wasn't used to that. I think we have a great job. You know, where, are the, where else are you going to work with somebody who could actually go in and make a change, facilitate a change or help make a change in somebody that's, that's for the rest of their life going to make them a better person maybe than when they first walked in? We get to do that. I think it's great. I just if kids if kids can um, be productive and they're happy and they're maintaining healthy relationships, I feel great. You know. I just think of our students, especially in our department, or maybe in the whole building. I don't know, just kids trying to figure it out, I feel like. And I feel like if we can help them figure it out, if we can give them a way to still have self-respect and feel like they can do something, then I feel like I've have, have had a good day. It's been a good day. My first example explains a quote because my first, yeah, you don't want to. Um, say my first example. Yeah, 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 right. Um, so you want to say. I think. Most of our students know we're really invested in them, and I think if you're really invested in somebody, they wind up telling you what they need. They might not even be aware of it, but they wind up telling you just by how they are and their behavior, and you start going, okay, that isn't it. Okay, he looks like this is a strength. Okay, he likes this, or she doesn't go for that, or, and you just start individualizing it down until you finally figure out that student. Um, you got to have a good team. I have a really excellent department. I really mean that. Like, we all know everybody. We know everyone's caseloads. It's not like these are my kids, these are your kids. We know all 120 of them or whatever. And so if we're just having a day where we're just not making it, we're going into triage. You go see somebody else in your department, and you, you say, this is, I am just dying. You know, can you help me with this kid? How are we going to do this? Because if you're working alone, you burn out. Um, if you didn't have a department around you that was really strong, you know, that where you could go to somebody and know that they were going to, Going to help you toe that line. You could, you couldn't make it. You couldn't make it. But I do think. Do you remember why you're eligible to do the retake, James? We did the graphic organizers. Graphic organizers, right? If you didn't do them, then that's what tripped you up. But I do think you should be passionate about it. I don't think anybody should go into working with kids of any sort if they just are trying to. Gee, I think I'll teach because I don't know what else to do, kind of thing. I think you should go into it because you just love it, and because you like working with kids. Like I just like these kids. They're. They're hilarious, they're frustrating, they're sweet, they're demanding, they're, you know, they're, uh, they're wonderful. So when I see kids graduate, I feel like that's a victory. Because a lot of the students that have come in here, especially the, some more difficult kids, have, we, they never thought they'd be able to do that. That's huge. Um, I have kids that have gone on to college and come back to see me, that's huge. I have kids for, what, 50 years if you count, more than that, 53 years, right? Right? 57, so going to kindergarten at four maybe. So 53 years, either going to school or teaching at school, that's school, school, school. So what the heck, you know? Do I even know how to use the bathroom without the bell ringing? Or? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, it's 9.30. Well, I'll have to wait for the bell, you know? I mean, I honestly don't know. So I, I, I really am, I'm very excited about my options, but also really sad about leaving this school. I love this school. I love my, my, my staff, my department. I, it will be hard. It'll, I'll share, I'm sure I'll shed tears, but I'm a really delayed reactor, so I'm sure it'll take me till like July before it actually hits me. Maybe September when I see the first bus go by and I realize that's not, I'm not going to be entering a school. That'll be, maybe I'll take a trip then. This is a good place. This is where I want to be. I'm happy to be here. You know, I really am. I'm really happy that I was here. I, feel really good about being here. So I wanted to stick with teaching until I got to be this age, and then I wanted to leave while I still like it. And I'm really thankful that I'm leaving on those terms. I'm not leaving where it's like, get me out of here, I hate this. I can leave where I'm like, I still feel good about my job, I still love my job, you know? Hot to cold, homie, we change weather. I'm kicking it with Bruce, we ain't talking about Kate Jenner, my game's better. Always spitting dirty like a stained sweater, okay. I came to give you something real. I've been the freshest prince since Will. Still never had no Uncle Phil. I must be killed. I got the homie jacket. Started jumping Jill. Discussing Phil. Lyrics be stinking just like a musty mill. 
Mrs. Worth is fist is hurting probably because I punch the steel. Leave the screen several slaughter. Dancing with the devil's daughter. Never been a starter, but still smarter than half the kids at Harvard. Leary's darker than the Parkers. I'm a mark with a Sharpie marker and bombard him for a hearty offer. I rap because it's a shining time. Shout out to Mrs. Tyne Now You're going to miss this shining eye.